Welcome to our podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we uncover if black holes really are quiet eaters, and how NASA has uncovered the elements that feed these cosmic giants, and the revelations are nothing short of mind-bending. NASA's retired Spitzer Space Telescope captured images of streams of dust, which are thousands of light-years long, moving towards the supermassive black hole which is present at the center of the Andromeda galaxy. This observation has now helped scientists understand how black holes, which are billions of times the mass of our sun, are able to satiate their hunger while remaining quiet eaters. When supermassive black holes consume gas and dust, the temperature of the material rises just before it falls into the cosmic abyss and creates sparkling lights some of which are even brighter in comparison to an entire galaxy full of stars. Once the cosmic elements are consumed in clumps of different sizes, the black hole's brightness fluctuates. However, the black holes which are at the center of Andromeda and Milky Way have emerged as the quietest eaters present in the universe. The light emitted by them does not vary significantly in the parameters of brightness, which suggests that they have been consuming a small but steady flow of food and not eating large clumps. The black hole is approached by the streams little by little and in a spiral shape. According to a study published in the Astrophysical Journal, the theory of a supermassive black hole feeding on a steady stream of gas was applied while looking into the Andromeda galaxy. With the use of computer models, the authors simulated how the behavior of gas and dust will alter if it is brought in proximity with Andromeda's supermassive black hole. In the simulated condition, it is demonstrated that a small disk of hot gas is likely to be formed closely to the supermassive black hole and continuously feed it. The disk can be replenished and maintained through various streams of gas and dust. The researchers also found that those streams will have to stay in a particular size and flow rate, or else the cosmic material will start falling in irregular clumps inside the black hole and led to more light fluctuation. Looking at the findings of NASA's Spitzer and Hubble Space Telescope, the scientists agreed that the spirals have been satiating the supermassive black hole of Andromeda Galaxy. The study's co-author and astrophysicist at the Institute of Astrophysics of the Canary Islands and the University Observatory Munich Almudena Prieto said, This is a great example of scientists re-examining archival data to reveal more about galaxy dynamics by comparing it to the latest computer simulations. We have 20-year-old data telling us things we didn't recognize in it when we first collected it, he added. Thanks for tuning into this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.